Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of Eight, and today I'm playing turn-based strategy game Cast Belly Battle of Annihilation. This is kind of a take on Advance Wars, uses kind of a simplified approach to turn-based strategy games. Uh, game features 12 maps of different sizes. Uh, the main problem is with the game that none of the maps are balanced. Every single one of the maps you can see here is a good example. Uh, is tilted towards the blue player, which is the computer player by default. Uh, so basically what happens is, uh, you know, what they really want is to give the AI some advantage, which honestly it doesn't even really need, um, in order to, you know, basically win the map. You can see all of the city locations and the factories are given to the blue players on every single one of these maps. Uh, every, every one is uh, done in that sense. So there's no online multiplayer, and while you can play uh, Hot Seat, again, it's not going to be very fair because the blue player is always given an economic advantage, which is very significant uh, in the game. They're given more cities and more factories uh, near their location than uh, the other player is. So uh, there's no random maps. There's no map editor. Uh, which means you're stuck with these 12 maps uh, that are not fair uh, in basically any way. Uh, so I'm going to just pick uh, any one of these. doesn't really matter. It all plays out pretty much the same way. I do want to try to find one with an airfield, though, so I can show off air units. Uh, here's one. So we'll do this. Now, uh, I'm going to, and you do have the ability to play as blue, so I'm going to get the severe advantage as the uh, economically favored player uh, because it's a video and I kind of want to win. <laughs> uh, so keep in mind that if you are playing this, it's primarily designed as a single player game. You can do human versus human, but again, one player is going to be at a severe disadvantage. Uh, so, And then the AI is kind of supposed to be, uh, as the blue player, given uh, a big advantage. So we're going to start here. And away we go. So the red player is already gone. Uh, what you can do each turn is that each factory can make one unit. So I'm going to start out by uh, making infantry at all three of my factories. Again, the other team only has two. Uh, and then I'm going to use these guys to capture uh, buildings. Uh, these cities here, which bring in more resources every day. Uh, you can also capture additional factories on some of the maps. You can capture airfields, which will give you air units and naval you, uh, you know, shipyards to give you naval units, which I won't really need. I'm just going to go after this airfield. Uh, everything is done uh, left click, ending your turn, doing all the the orders and everything, and you can watch these guys. It takes usually two turns to cap stuff, so I'm going to move him and capture. I'm going to move him and capture. I'm going to move him and capture, and then I'm going to buy infantries at each of these. Uh, and then on my turn. Weather does affect uh, unit movement. They don't move as far during rain and snow. Okay, so I have to remember to... You have to tell them to capture every turn. So there they go. Uh, I'm going to send him here. I'm actually going to probably send him down there. Oh, no, I didn't need to do that because those two guys could do it. So that was dumb, but that's okay. So st still going to do infantry, infantry, infantry. And then that's my turn. So uh, as you'll see when I bring up the, uh, or if you've been paying attention, when I bring up the factory display... Uh, that's, uh, these are all the units for land. You get infantry, uh, kind of a anti-tank infantry. You get a unit transporter, uh, long-range artillery, a tank, anti-air units, and rockets, which kind of spam an area, uh, but are more expensive. The interface also takes some getting used to. Uh, you have the green circles ugh, underneath. Uh, the units to indicate who's moved and who hasn't, but sometimes there are misclicks and whatnot. So I'm going to move these guys out. And I'm going to try to start. I don't have quite enough. 
I'm actually going to save up. Because uh, I want to get some tanks in here. And that will end my turn. So again, very simple strategy. Not very many units. Um, you know, just go around capture locations. Everything has a health of 10. The uh, attack rating depends on uh, the unit attributes. So for example, the anti-tank units are more effective against tanks than the rifle units. So, you can move and then attack. And this guy's probably gonna... Oh, just barely not going. Oh, no, he did. So, there's decimals, but it doesn't actually show all the decimals. Alright, now I should be able to afford at least one tank, which I can. And I'm actually probably gonna save up. So I have enough infantry. I'm just gonna steamroll this guy, because I have such an advantage. I'm gaining 6,500 a day. And he's gaining half that just because of the map layout, so. It's just a matter of time before I overwhelm him with forces. All right, so. He's dead. Pretty basic graphics too, which is fine. I don't really care about that too much. Attack him. Almost. Almost got that. I really want tanks. Because I have enough resources. For. Oh yeah, I only have 2,900. Uh, you know, I have tons of units, so it's not really even an issue. Okay, there's no next unit button or indicator or anything on there, so. Again, pretty basic interface uh, as well. So end our turn. Seems to be more designed for mobile platforms. I need to take out that artillery unit. That's kind of going to be my last uh, worry, as it were. I'm going to completely avoid... <laughs> this guy except with my tank because you should be able to take him out pretty effectively one yeah probably not yeah yeah 0.5 so not very good but I will take this guy out I'm gonna go start capping these so now they really won't have any resources more tanks Basically earning a tank a day. Uh, and that's my turn. Uh, I'll get some advantage on the hills there. Alright, well, let's start surrounding this guy. Once you capture that airfield, he's gone. Then I'll be able to call in some bomber units. More tanks! The only downside of this map being uh, this player is there's no f intermediate factories, although there will be if I go over here. Um, and basically all you have to do is either cap their headquarters or kill all their units, uh, and then you win, which will uh, happen fairly quickly. The sad thing about the having giving the blue player such an advantage is not even really necessary. Um, the AI is actually pretty good. Um, so they don't even really need that advantage. I, I would have really liked to have seen 
uh, more balanced maps. You see much less attack when you're in, uh, when the defender's in a city. You know, I have all this money, I don't really have anything to do with it because the units are so far. It doesn't even really matter. So, now it's just a matter of cleaning up. So, you know. Game has been decided well in advance of this. Uh, sure. It also can be very annoying to try to cap factories because you can build one thing in a factory per turn. So, basically they can pretty easily just keep building units inside of factories. Ugh, one. Give me a break. Oh, that's stupid. Well. I kind of, like, you know, I don't even really need this. The resources here. So many units. Well, let's see if we can cap this. Get him with the health. Well, in any event, I'll block it. There goes that. But I can't. Uh, use it this turn, unfortunately. Really need to cap these factories down here. So I have all these resources and nothing to use them for because it's fat. You know, it's going to take three turns for that stuff to get back over here. All right. Well. Hmm. Basically, all their units are dead. Oh, there you go. I killed all their units, so I won. So I didn't have to mop up the rest of that. There you go, that's it. <laughs> that's Cass's Belly Battle of Annihilation. Like I said, it's a lot like Advance Wars. Um, the biggest problem I have with the game is the maps. None of the maps are balanced, which basically means you can't play it in hot seat mode against another person because one person's going to have an insane economic advantage. There's no way Red could have beat me, uh, unless I'm retarded and a terrible player, um, because I have such an advantage. There's, you know, one extra factory, but so many more cities on my side of the map than the other one, and every single map is like this. Now, if the game featured randomly generated maps, or symmetrical maps, or mirrored maps, or a map editor, then it wouldn't be an issue. But because you're stuck with these 12 completely unbalanced maps, this is the type of game you're going to get. Obviously, they want you to play as red and go against the AI as blue to give the AI a really big advantage in the amount of resources that they have. Uh, to give the AI some sort of, you know, handicapped advantage. The thing is, the AI doesn't even really need it because they actually play the game pretty good. They build uh, appropriate units to counter your units. They move intelligently and capture stuff uh, around the map. Uh, and it's, you know, it's good enough where it doesn't really need those resource advantages. Uh, the interface is pretty basic. It all uses left clicks in order to... Uh, give orders and advance on to the next turn. So it's, you can tell it's kind of based for um, a mobile device. That's kind of what it's designed for first. 
you know, it has the little green circles between each units to indicate when they need to move, but there isn't like a list of units, uh, which isn't really that big of a problem because you're not really playing with a lot of units at once any time, uh, anyway. Uh, you know, there's not very many units, but there's all the basic options there. You have, you know, your infantry that can capture cities, transport units, uh, naval air units, tanks, anti-tank infantry, artillery, stuff like that. Um, so there's not really a shortage there. Like I said, really the shortcoming in the game is the map selection. And the fact that there's no balanced maps uh, to play with uh, in a more fair scenario. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.